Okay, so I've got a few questions, Judge. Uh, let me kind of go back to earlier when you talked about incompetent, and you said that after so many uh, times, it's it's uh, remanded to district court, I believe. Every time. Every time. Every time. Okay, so is it? Uh, I'm looking at one particular individual mm -hmm. who, from January 25th, 2021, to March 11th, 2021. He was on a payment plan because uh, he was arrested for criminal trespassing and, and some other things. Interestingly, on 7-9 of 2021 through 7-3 of 2022, arrested 60 different times and was let go for dismissed or incompetent. He was charged with criminal trespass, assault, indecent exposure, resisting, obstructing arrest, and shoplifting. How can you, I, if I was to go to district court, will I find his name? on, um, what will I find? It sounds like it. It sounds like he's been found incompetent, or excuse me, not competent multiple times, and that's not unusual. And, you know, somebody can be competent and then become not competent and be not competent and become competent. So it does happen occasionally, but, and remember the referral doesn't have to come from me. It can come from someone at the jail, defense attorney, the officer, city attorney. Okay, so I just want to clarify that. So uh, whether or not that's in um, district court or not. So about how many people do you think you saw in 2022? Approximately. It doesn't be Are exact. you talking about non, not competent? No, 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 just everybody that you see from traffic tickets to oh. uh, criminal trespass. I mean, just approximately. Again, it's not, it doesn't have yeah. to be exact. No, it's, it's actually on one of my slides. Um, Slide 18. Okay, the total that was filed in 2022 was 6,486. And of, of those, how many were put in jail? Oh, I don't know. Just give me a rough estimate. I don't know because, I mean, it could have been before they were um, convicted. It could have been that they were arrested on a warrant from another court, so there's no way for me to isolate that. How many did you put in jail last week? <clears throat> mm, I don't know. You don't know how many you put in jail last week? One, 10? Well, no, I held some people in jail that I saw at prison arraignments. Well, not but prison arraignments. Me? I'm talking that you, they, they came before you and put in jail. Most people enter pleas and most pleas include a sentence okay. from the prosecutor. Okay, so let me ask you this. So let's say they don't plead incompetency and it's, someone comes and they're arrested for uh, criminal trespass and then they show up, they're released on their own recognizance. Do you tell them anything like, hey, if I see you here again, um, I'm gonna have to, just like the DWIs, have, they have increased penalties as they do more. Do you, do you tell them that, do you talk with them and say, if I see you again, uh, you're gonna, something else is gonna happen to you? Absolutely not. That would be completely unethical okay. for me to do that. So you can't make that a condition that if they, if you're, you're letting them out on their own recognizance and Are if they. I thought you were talking about sentencing. No, oh, no, I do it frequently as conditions of release. Okay, so. New charges, failing to attend court. Okay, yes. right, right. Because I remember one time you telling me that um, and now I'm gonna just switch for this brief time to, to homeless. Uh, you were telling me that the homeless, the reason why a lot of these are, really, are dismissed is because they won't show up. They don't come back for the second hearing. I don't dismiss them if they well, don't come back. I issue a warrant. Okay, all right. So in, in uh, a warrant for their arrest. Correct. Okay, so in um, March 21st, 2022, city passed uh, a resolution allowing s municipal court uh, to, to squash the failure to pay warrants that dated back like from 1900 to 2017, amounted to some $3 million. After that date, 2017 to today, have you um, cleared or uh, got rid of any failure to pay warrants? 
we set ability to pay hearings on every case where somebody owes fines and they're not paying. If they show up, we put them on a payment plan. Uh, if they don't, and it's the first time, we issue a summons. And then if they don't, it's a warrant. Okay, but my question is, since since the after uh, March 2022, because we identified these failure to pay warrants, but it dated to sometime in 2017. Let's just say since 2018, because you started serving in 2017, all right? So since 2018 up until today, have you uh, unilaterally squashed these failure to pay warrants? We did. We, we quashed the warrants and set everything for a failure to pay hearing if they owed and weren't paying. Okay, so. If, if they had not updated their address with us and we got return mail, that would trigger a warrant. Okay, I understand about the warrant. I'm talking about, what I'm trying to get at is, you, you have to, that, that city money, that's taxpayers' money that's mm -hmm. owed, right? That's mm -hmm. why the city council has to sign off on that resolution that we did in March of last year, okay? So I don't know how more clear to ask you this, Judge, is since 2018, I'll just make it since 2018, so 2018, mm -hmm. 2019, 2020, 21, 22, till today, these failure to pay warrants, have you just squashed them and basically said, oh, you don't need to pay that anymore? If we didn't have information like an order to show cause or returned mail, I had to give them an ability to pay hearing. And if they don't show up, it's the summons and then the warrant. So you're saying you did not, you have not squashed or get rid, of, get rid of any failure to pay warrants since 2018, other than the time that we gave permission, the court's permission to do that in March 21 of 2022, mm -hmm. that's the only time those uh, failure to pay warrants, those are the only ones that, that, that you, you were allowed to just squash, to let those go away. No, I, we did void some warrants because okay. I didn't want the court to become like Ferguson, Missouri, where you just incarcerate people because they're poor. So yes, I did. That's why I wanted to have ability to pay hearings. Okay, so when, when did the city council pay, uh, approve those? Because again, uh, we're, e even though we're, um, we keep separate, we are theoretically the executive branch of the city mm -hmm. and that's the money and that's why it has to, there's a, there's a city uh, code, uh, Las Cruces Municipal Code that requires, and that's why we did it in March of 2022 and that's why I wanted to find out um, if you did squash failure repair warrants um, from 2018 on up to now. And you said you think you did. Yes. Okay. Because they were can issued get, without hearings, I, yes. Go I, ahead. I believe I ha might have a copy, but can you get me that copy? Or a the, copy of, of those warrants that you squashed, the failure to pay, because that has to have city council approval, Judge. That's why we did the resolution in, in March of 2022, March 21st. Well, I'm not giving them amnesty on paying. They still owe the money. I agree, they still owe the mm -hmm. money. But again, it has to be the approval for, for that to happen is for the city council. Like for example, when the city gets rid of uh, uh, utility bills, that doesn't mean uh, that they don't owe us. That just means that we don't carry it on the books. We've, 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 mm -hmm. we've got rid of them. And I think much like this is the same thing here. Well, so I think that the court has discretion to quash warrants and try and to get the money other ways. Then why did we do the resolution to do this in March of 2022? I am unfamiliar with it. I was not involved and I wasn't okay. here. So. Okay. All right. Okay, well, I think that's, that's really the only questions that, that I have. And um, okay. if you want to go ahead.